What is up all you minjis? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And join me today as I do another retro view. And this time we're going to look at the Infinite Crisis Omnibus from DC Comics. So, please stay tuned. As you all know, I wanted to start this segment every Sunday. So every Sunday I will pick an omnibus. Or actually I will let you all pick. So this one was chosen by Shadow King 26 So thank you very much for suggesting this omnibus retro view. So yes, every Sunday I will do an omnibus retro view. So you all decide on what you want. I'll pick out somebody at random. And as long as I have the omnibus, because some, believe it or not, I don't get everything. So let's take a look at this. This is the very first printing of Infinite Crisis. Here's what the spine looks like, and then the back. There has been two printings so far. As a matter of fact, I think the, the second printing came out in 2018, and it's already out of print. So there is a third printing coming. Now let's look at it without the dust jacket, because the first and second printing have different things underneath the dust jacket. So this is the original one. You can see Infinite Crisis written there very vaguely just because of not the lighting, but it's got this pleather look, this fake leather look to it. Well, we'll talk more about the content because we can't really talk about the build. And I say that it doesn't matter what the binding looks like on the first printing because, like I said, there's a second printing already out of print. And there is a third printing coming in the summer. This one here retails for $150, and the second and third printing will also retail for $150. So this is the event that kicked off the 52 ongoing weekly series. It was the one year later where the characters jumped ahead one year, and some characters' origins have been tweaked a little bit. It wasn't a fresh, like, hard boot of the universe, but it did reboot it just a little bit with one year later. It kicks it off with Countdown right here. This one shot with these awesome collaboration, by the way, I always love this cover, of Jim Lee and Alex Ross. And it's a one shot where Blue Beetle is teaming, trying to get people to help him solve this mystery. And if you've never read this, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you, but, um, I will say that that's where it kicks off and then it gets into the OMAC project, the checkmate. So let's talk about this collection and what it collects and then maybe what you need to read before this to get ready. Um, so this collects Action Comics 826 and 829, Adventures of Superman 639 and 642, the countdown issue that I mentioned, which is the one shot, the Day of Vengeance 1 through 6, Day of Vengeance Infinite Crisis Special, that's the one shot that takes place during Infinite Crisis. The JLA 115 to 119, Infinite Crisis 1 through 6. That's the main mini series. And it gets a little confusing, but I'll talk about it and how this is mapped out, by the way. Infinite Crisis Secret Files 2006. The OMAC Project 1 through 6, OMAC Project Infinite Crisis Special. Ranthanagar War 6 issue mini series and the special. Superman 216, 219, Villains United, the six issue miniseries, and that leads into the special that takes place during Infinite Crisis. And, of course, Wonder Woman 219, which is part of the Sacrifice storyline. So that crosses over into the Superman 216, 219 in Action Comics. So you can probably tell as I was reading that off, it's a pretty big damn book. And it is. It's 1,424 pages. And every reprint after this has been and will be 1,424 pages. So usually, usually, like 95% of the time, when publishers reprint something, DC or Marvel, it's easy for them just to get the files to the printer and reprint it the exact same way. Every once in a while, and I mean very, very, very seldom does this happen, but in the case of Squadron Supreme and also Eternals Omnibus, which is not out yet from Marvel, they decide to add more things. Or the case of Flash, where they decide to remap the Omnibus, the Jeff Johns Flash run. The new mapping on the Omnis from Flash by DC are different than the original ones, and I've done an overview of it on my channel. But that rarely happens. Most of the time, seriously, it is a matter of just... Take, putting these files together, sending it to a printer, and calling it a reprint. I know that makes it sound easier. There's a lot more than that. They have to change the ISBN, but that's pretty much simply what they do. 
Now, this is the story that I... A lot of people ask me, like, is it okay to read this if I'm new to comics? Is it okay to read it if I only read a little bit of DC, know who Batman and Superman are? And I will say, you know, it's to me, my first very DC comics was Crisis on Infinite Earths number seven. So it, it has the very iconic cover. That's why I picked it up as because I was a Marvel kid. But I, I don't see a reason why you couldn't read this. You might be confused, and some of the answers may lie in the book. Um, but if you want to prep a little bit ahead, we've done an old reader, new reader on this, but if you want to prep ahead to kind of give you just a little bit of prior knowledge to this, at the very least, at the very least, read Crisis on Infinite Earths, the original Crisis, because this is a... Really, the sequel, I know we've had Zero Hour, and I know we had other crises in between, but this is a true sequel to that. And Jeff Johns is the mastermind behind this. Um, now, if you really want to dive deep, then yes, you can get the first few issues, of, or the first few trades of Superman and Batman by Jeff Loeb that set up this new crisis. Uh, you can get Identity Crisis, you can get Batman and the Red Hood, you can get first few trades of Outsiders and Teen Titans... You can get the Adam Strange Planet Heist story. Actually, that's one that I highly recommend because the Ranthanagar War that happens here, these issues right here, is a direct follow-up to that story. You can get the Green Lantern Rebirth and all that. You know, if you want to just kind of get a taste of what's going on uh, because part of the Villains United cross over into Flash. and So pretty much the way that the Omnibus is mapped out is the way that I would have laid it out. You have all these events all these issues and i like the way that they're mapped out scattered about throughout the dc universe so all six for example villains united which evolved into the secret six by the way by gail simone and uh del eagleham eaglesham 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 damn it uncanny omar we'll learn how to pronounce names one day but anyway the these are all put together all six of these issues are together and then we get into the fight between Eclipso and Superman and Shazam, which kind of foreshadows what happens to the ma magic users in the DC Universe that prep for this fight later on in Infinite Crisis. Uh, here's the Day of Vengeance, which again, we focus on magic characters, and all six of those are put together. Um, and then we get to the actual event, and this is beautifully drawn by um, Ivan Reyes, this Ranthanagar roar. So it's not just Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns does the meat of this here book. But there's other creators in here. There's Greg Rucka. There is Judd Winnick. There, Gail Simone writes a lot of this stuff in here. But for the most part, yes, it is Jeff Johns. Now, for example, this right here, this is why I wanted you all to read identity crisis because this is a direct follow-up to identity crisis this is crisis of conscience it is co-written by alan heinberg and written by jeff johns and all of this like literally the final page of this is a huge cliffhanger that leads directly into infinite crisis one so i love the way that this is mapped out the way the omnibus is mapped out is the way that i would have done it myself if i was custom binding these and i almost came close to it um i want to show yeah, issue one, but I don't want to show everything because there's a lot of deaths and a lot of spoilers in here in case you haven't read it. So it is mainly drawn by Phil Jimenez. He is the main artist on the six-issue miniseries, or I'm sorry, seven-issue miniseries of Infinite Crisis. And he is helped later on by a couple of artists. However, the collection redraws some of that artwork. So if you had these in original single issue format, some of the artwork towards the end in like issues six and seven looks a little bit different because they got Phil Jimenez to come in and actually draw a couple of pages differently. I just want to showcase some of that beautiful artwork by him. We're introduced to some new characters. Like I said, there's a huge crisis going on. I'm not going to reveal who the big bad is or what happens. But this is what I mean by I think it is perfectly mapped. So at the end of issue three, and rightly so, they stick in the Day of Vengeance Infinite Crisis special which is where it belongs. Now, they could have put it at the very end, and I'm not a big fan of when Omnis do that because I think this is essential reading. It's part of the ongoing story. Yes, Jeff Johns didn't write it. Yes, Ivan Reyes didn't draw it. But it's Bill Willingham, by the way, the guy that wrote Fables. It's essential to enjoy what happens to the story, why these magic characters are almost omitted from the main storyline. 
And then we go back to issue four. And again, Phil Jimenez did not draw the entire issue. He needed help. And one of the main artists that helped him with that is Jerry Ordway. And then we get the secret files in between there and back to issue four right here, which is the big fight between, well, Superboy and Superboy. Not going to reveal who wins that fight, but oh man. And I think that's why I suggested reading something like Teen Titans. And I guess you, if you want to, man, good luck, because it is dialogue heavy, but you can read The Return of Donna Troy, because she is found in the pages of the Ranthanagar special. Now, let's move a little bit through here without spoiling anything. I'm not going to get deep into the plot of Infinite Crisis and what I try to do, because this is mainly an overview of the book and the art, but what it tried to fix was the idea of these multiple Earths again, which is what Crisis on Infinite Earths did. But because we're going back to multiple Earths, we wanted to make it one Earth again. And that's what this tried to do. And I say tried because you all know that later on, they went back on their word and started having multiple Earths again. So that's why I said it wasn't really a hard reboot of the universe, kind of like after Flashpoint. But this is more of a soft reboot. Some origins are tweaked a little bit, but that's about it. As a matter of fact, they released a history of the DC Universe right after this was released in the pages of the backup pages rather of the 52 weekly series so if you enjoyed this one of the things i highly and strongly suggest to get is the 52 pickup omnibus i believe that one is still pretty easy to find and this one will be back in print sometime this summer now let's look at the extras in the back so we have variant covers here in the back and i can't show all of them because they spoil some and i know it's really weird because this damn series is about 15 to 16 years old and i get it if someone had spoiled something from this book for me and i had not read it before and i was so excited to get into it i would be upset too but it's like where do you stop right i mean we're talking about old stories here sometimes i talk about stories that are 40 years old but i'm just being mindful um, now, when this does get reprinted, please check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content of the book and the page count of the book. Let me know in those comments down below if you have this, if you're waiting to pick up the reprint, if you bought the second edition of this book, if you already have the trade paperbacks and you wanted to upgrade, how you felt about the story, where the story stands with you. If you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy these type of videos, please think about subscribing. We put out a video every day. Ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Patreon and on Redbubble, and all of that information is in the description down below. And more importantly, please everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.